Lesbian and Gay Association. Please. Señor Presidente, queremos agradecer al alto comisionado por incluir la situación de niñas y niños intersexuales en su reporte. I very much welcome the fact that intersexual children have been included as regards good practice and difficulties facing the elimination of FGM. We agree with the concerns that have been expressed by the Office of the High Commission as regards these practices on young children. As regards most countries worldwide, we're still seeing mutilating surgery carried out in order so-called normalized bodies. These do not have medical purposes at all, and the effects harm reproducting sexual health of girls. This is why we go along with what has been said by the High Commissioner's report, saying that there needs to be counseling and appropriate support given to families with intersexual children. Having said that, this support and advice needs to be done before there is any consideration taken as regards surgery. In many cases, the parents themselves are not consulted, and the surgery is simply carried out without their consent, and certainly not taken into account their children and their needs. That is why it's so important that information, reliable scientific information is given with a human rights uh, perspective in order to guarantee free and self-determination for intersexual children. President, it's very important that we need to recognize that there are different uh, sexual orientations and bodies. There's, this is something that should be a motive for joy rather than repression to ensure that uh, children are entitled to their self-determination and indeed, as the Parliament in Malta did recently, regarding the protocols uh, which have to do with the physical and mental health of intersex children. Thank you. Thank you.